In your KVU Crime Files, we look into the disappearance of a Sixth Street club owner who vanished more than two decades ago. 24 years of collected documents, pictures, and notes. Despite the evidence, police still don't know what happened to Parrish Patel. We haven't narrowed down the exact motive for his disappearance, so that leaves a lot of options on the table. It was the year 2000. The 36-year-old club owner and entrepreneur was in charge of some of the hottest nightlife spots in downtown Austin. He was a, uh, a well-known, established figure in the downtown enter entertainment district. He owned multiple bars. One of them was called Metro. On Monday afternoon, September 25th of 2000, Patel swung by the club. That was standard practice for him. He would pick up the, the weekend's take of uh, the money. He then made his way toward Azúcar, a Latin dance club he also owned, located on Lavaca Street. Soon after that, he was never seen again. As a businessman, he was always on a cell phone. He was co contacting friends, family, business associates. But the calls stopped. He didn't check in, so to speak, and he also didn't pick up his children from daycare that day, which was a big red flag for the family. They notified police, and the following day, detectives found Patel's white Lexus SUV in a parking lot on the east side of town. The windows were rolled down and the keys were in the ignition. Patel was not in the vehicle. In the ensuing two decades, the case has taken a number of interesting turns. In 2012, a federal investigation charged Patel's former business partners, the Yassine brothers, with money laundering and drug trafficking. Given their connection to Patel, Hussein Mike Yassine is considered a person of interest in this case but he's never been arrested in Patel's disappearance. Now, police are using advanced technology to revisit some of the original evidence. The physical evidence that has been recovered in this case, it can actually be tested now. The technology to test that evidence did not exist or it was prohibitively expensive back then. And Austin detectives tell me they've sent off evidence to labs across the country for forensic testing. They've also gathered a lot of information in this decades-long case, but they are still conducting interviews. Now, you can help them close this case. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers. The number is right there on your screen. It's 512-472-TIPS.